Have you ever been in a situation where you're trying to affirm yourself out of something, but the law of attraction does not work and, and reality is keeping you barred? Um, for instance, I am in a situation where I just got paid July 2nd on that Saturday and I was so thrilled because I had been waiting with bated breath for that check. And then my bank put a hold on it and the, when I asked the teller that Saturday, she's like, oh, it'll be available after the holiday weekend. It's, it's just that. But then it wasn't available on the holiday weekend and then I got a notification that it will not be available until July 14th. And so that whole thing was, um, I, I, I got, even though I got that as the physical reality, the bar, the reality, the, 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 the actual bar not letting me do what I want, I, I tried to do those affirmations, you know, when you try to be like, money flows fast and, and fast and easily to me, you know. I kept doing that, I kept listening to those Brian Scott money meditation affirmations to kind of, because I thought, oh, well, I have the, like you kind of have that, well, everything works out for me, so just in time, this is gonna be made available and I'm gonna be able to um, spend that money to do what I need to do. And, and it wasn't, and it's not, it's, it's like, you know, people kind of act like, oh, with the, they kind of act like, oh, well, you're creating that reality because one part of you doesn't want the money or doesn't want to do this or whatever. And, but it's like, did I really create the circumstances in which a corporate bank, Wells Fargo, holds the checks? Um, it's, it, there's these, those kind of things with affirmations where reality really does set in and, and living in a way where you kind of pretend to yourself and you kind of have a magical thinking where you say, where you tell yourself things like, oh, everything always works out for me and money flows fast and easy. Well, sometimes that can be very true and you can have a lot of good luck and, and very um, fortuitous things happen. And I have had that happen, a lot of that kind of stuff. But in other times you won't because the lesson is to kind of get you to be, to chill out. And I think that that's really useful because sometimes you're, always, you're almost trying to affirm away the, the reality. You know, people try to affirm away reality when, when it comes to money and when it comes to unrequited love. I think that people, they, they, they resist the reality, they resist the truth so they keep doing affirmations to deny what is essentially, hey, this isn't going to work. Um, and that's the appeal of affirmations. There's kind of a like rubbing, it's like rubbing a lamp on over and over and asking a genie for a wish and having this constant magical thinking and fantasy thinking that it will work out because you're going to create that in reality. And I think that while it is important to have that kind of um, confidence in your ability to create because it does work out that sometimes you're using it as this little crutch to avoid reality to be in denial and to just not face facts you know like if you if you get in a mentality where you keep where you act like oh well I'm ha I'm where you do those little affirmations with money like well I can always spend money because money always flows easily to me but then you spend your money and you're living paycheck to paycheck well you're not you're you're you might be living in confidence but that confidence is actually delusion and you are not embracing reality you have a sense of magical thinking that's just not going to pan out you've got to have that practical uh, dose of reality with your confidence and you've got to balance those you can't be living in a fantasy and saying and thinking that affirmations will get you out of bad situations and and not not just bad situations but just even uncertain situations I would say because um, I definitely notice that when it comes to the affirmation manifestation groups and people we we tend to have that focus with manifesting money and then we tend to have the focus with manifesting uh, love but usually one a specific person it's not usually people that are open-ended hoping that they will find love and I think that's actually the better way of I think it's actually better to manifest 
by listening to that song, Bring Me a Higher Love. I think that song, because it's that um, hope and openness to being, being, me, meeting, a, meeting a person, but not having it this kind of set, I need this person or I need this this specific person and being kind of there's a resistance to being open to uh, I'm ready to meet somebody new so with affirmations I think when we get really resistant we're just trying it's like we're almost clutching and hoping for the, a different reality than what is given then of course they're not going to work because that's just you going against what is true and the longer you're in denial of reality the longer you're gonna not manifest and not get what you want because you have to first get let go of resistance to what is to be open to what can be. And so I think that there's something really weirdly freeing that I felt once I accepted reality. I accepted this hold is not going to magically let up in time. It's not gonna let up on the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. It's going to be until the 14th, like the bank says, and there is no way out of that. So what will I do? At first I accept reality and then I move forward. And for some reason, that felt really, that lightened me up. Like that surrender to reality, to what is, that really helped me. Whereas before I was almost like tight knuckled, like first I was waiting for that initial July 2nd check with bated breath and just tight knuckles like ready because I was ready to, to, to get things in gear. And then there's something almost freeing about not being beholden because hey, that, that it's there, that that's on hold till July 14th. So what are you going to do until then? Okay, well, you're going to work on this, this, and this. And that was good. That was actually really good. Um, because when you are set on trying to affirm a reality, uh, something that goes against what's going on, you're in resistance to what is, and that is that is really this kind of uh, it's it, that's such a tight hold that you're not able to go with the flow of what is and reality. And I know I keep saying this, but it's just when you're tight with that and you, you're, you're almost insisting this is happening money flows easily to me and I this person loves me and this person wants to spend more time and this person wants to talk to me like there's almost this tight knuckled grip on it and if you just are like I always if you kind of have a more like I know it's I know I was saying that you shouldn't always have that things always work out for me you kind of think, well, this actually things always work out for me, including this. Like this hold is actually also going to work out for me. It's giving me some pause. It's making me appreciate um, the money that I'll get at a later time. It's making me, you know, use up my my quinoa and groceries that have been waiting for an opportunity to be digested. And so anyway, um, yeah. So sometimes. Forcing manifestations can really be hard on on your overall. It, it, like the the irony is that forcing it never works. You know, don't ever force anything. If if something bad happens that is unfortunate, just accept it. it the sooner you accept it, the bet the better you're gonna feel. Because when you're just like, oh, I really need this by the 6th. Oh, I need it by, oh, at least the, like the 5th, 6th, 7th. You're just, you're caught up in that. And you may not, that may not happen. And if you just say, oh, well, looks like it won't happen. I'm ready for that. It would be great if it did suddenly appear. But I'm, I'm going to be okay no matter what. There's such a lightning. It's really nice. So I hope this was helpful with that regard.